Hello YouTube, welcome back to this uh, series on the Discovery V8 4 litre uh, engine rebuild. In this video I managed to skip entirely stripping down the cylinder heads, uh, but we start from a stripped set of cylinder heads and we look into what I've done to recondition those. Uh, one more thing to mention is the crankshaft at the end of the last video you can see the crankshaft needed regrinding. I don't think I mentioned it elsewhere in this video but the crankshaft has already gone to the machine shop. Uh, it is being reground the mains and the big ends and we'll get some oversized bearings for that but here we are back to the heads well I'm rebuilding the cylinder heads now which is just clean them up put new stem seals and grind the valves in but of course I've got a die grinder haven't I and I've got a compressor so it's free of charge to port this head <laughs> so guess what I've put it there <laughs> I've done what I always do just not going too crazy uh, there's a lip between the casting here and the machining that's done uh, where a machine comes in in this direction and cuts the seats and all the rest of it and, uh, for the inserts so there's a lip between those two, I've smoothed that lip off uh, there's quite a radius, uh, quite a sharp lip sorry going around this corner here, you can feel it with your finger so I've taken that edge off, smoothed that over I've not taken vast amounts of material away, it's just smoothed things off uh, but where I have taken a fair bit off is in the intake yeah, there we go uh, I've taken about a mil off each to match the inlet and um, and then here on this curve as the air goes around like that there was quite a an edge on it really so I uh, I smoothed that off so it's got more of a curve on it on that wall there now uh, but otherwise just just neaten them up right here we go folks this is getting to look like nearly a, a done cylinder head so um, I've ground the valves in on this one now but I've not yet done it on this one so you can see these valve seats have quite a shiny appearance. You can see the light reflecting off there. Look, uh, they almost look polished, but yeah, that's how they look when they're a little used. Or um, they're actually in pretty good shape these ones, but it's hard to see. But you get along that shiny surface, you get little. Yeah, you can see them. Little um, dimples. Uh, that's that's damage erosion, I think. So your valves also look very similar. Now those are pretty mean actually, but. Yeah, the shiny 45 degree surface there on the outer edge. So those need grinding. So what you end up with when you've ground the valve is a much greyer finish. So that's got quite a dull grey ring there now. And that corresponds with the with the head as well. Those have also been ground. So you can see they've lost their shine now and they're, they're a bit greyer. So I'm going to go ahead and grind the last eight valves on that head. Right, so I've got the cylinder head on the side of the bench here now. So I'm going to take the valve which corresponds to that first uh, exhaust port and uh, I've been finding with these I've only actually needed the fine so I've got the fine grinding paste here and I'm just loading up the edge of the valve with some grinding paste so again you can see it on there look and then I'll pop it in the uh, valve guide where it's meant to go and then uh, because I'm doing it the lazy way I'm going to use the drill there we go, tighten the chuck around the valve and then start rotating the valve and going back and forth you can see the valve going up and down there so every time I go and push the valve away from the surface it pulls the grinding paste back in uh, so if I just leave it there you can hear the grinding sound dies down as the paste all gets pushed out so you've got to keep going back and forth and this is how you do it by hand as well, you'd spin it a bit and then you'd lift it and spin it and lift it. So, there's the valve, it's looking pretty good. So you wipe the excess off, have a little look, basically you're looking for a grey surface but without the dimples, you want the dimples to, to all be gone, ground away. So, it might be difficult. No, you can see them. There you go. You can still see the dimples look. So that one has not been done enough. It's better. The shine is gone. But there's still a few very shallow dimples there. You can see them catching in the light. So, more for you, Mr. Valve. Mm, yeah, there we go. No more dimples. So that's that. 
All done. Next thing is uh, the heads. There was nothing wrong with them, so I'm just going to clean this face. I'm not going to have them skimmed or anything like that. But so I need a piece of flat glass and uh, emery cloth, and I'm just going to wipe them over with this very fine uh, sandpaper, effectively. So I've been cleaning the second head, and uh, I think we're going to need this head to be skimmed. Uh, so I'm using 4000 grit, there's like nothing to it, it's, it's little more than wiping the surface to be honest. And that one's pretty good, there's some staining, you can see where the head gasket was, but there's no significant chunks out of it, you can't feel them with your fingernail or anything, so I'm happy with that actually, that's alright. But this one, not so much. This has uh, some damage here from the head gasket. Uh, the it eroded a lot of this fire ring. If I can show you somewhere, there you can see the damage to the fire ring there, and oh, it's all gone completely there. So I think that's the one I'm looking at. There you can see the fire ring is gone, and that apparently has eroded the head, uh, the head face. So. That is going to need a skim, unfortunately. At this point, I had a head that needed skimming. I got a decent straight edge and a very uh, small feeler gauge down to two thou. I got sandpaper, well, it's, what was it, emery cloth, and, uh, a, and a sort of plate of steel. So I thought I'd give it a go, seeing if I could sand these this uh, surface and keep it in spec. Worst case, I didn't keep it in spec, and it has to go for skimming. Right, well, I'm working on the cylinder head. This is the one with the bad damage, and I've, I thought I'd just have a go at it and see how far I could get with it. Um, with the sanding, and the straight edge, and the feeler gauge, and see if I could get it down to no damage, that's the worst bit there, uh, and keep it in spec. So, uh, Land Rover spec there's a machined face here, look, on the bottom of there, that's been flat machined, and the same on there. So this head is upside down in the vice, obviously. Uh, and they give you a minimum height for that, and that, so if you skim the head, you measure those distances and it's more than the minimum height then it's good to go if it gets less than that minimum height then um allegedly the the, the, the head's no good so uh, i think you can actually carry on with it to be honest i've heard from friends there's not any massive geometrical problems you can just put shims under the rockers and just be careful with your compression ratio but i assume if i stay within those limits i don't need shims and i don't need to be careful with the compression ratio so here i am i've done quite a bit of sanding i've got a a very coarse bit of emery cloth to start with, a uh, flat sheet of steel, this is actually the piece of steel I used to cover up the water pump holes in the block and pressurise it, but it's nice and flat. Uh, so I'm using that to sand, rotating like that, so the uh, the sheet always covers the head side to side, which keeps it flat, and then uh, keeping it flat this way, I've just got to do that by trying to sand it evenly, so I keep checking with my straight edge. So yeah, there we go, I'm nearly there, this damage uh, is nearly gone, and this damage is very nearly gone, this was the worst of it, I can still feel it with my nail actually, but very slightly now, and that I can't feel with my nail at all, so I'm assuming that'll disappear in the next few minutes of sanding. So at the moment I'm still within spec, there's still 0.1 or 0.2 me think no 0.1 or 0 0.05 of a mil two thousand maybe to take off before i go out of spec so uh, that was last night i got pretty tired doing it about half 10 went to bed so i'm going to carry on with it now and hopefully hopefully i can reuse this head which is good because i've already ground the valves in and i've already ported them although looking at it i'm going to do a little bit more porting in a few places and um because i've raised the compression ratio i can uh, deburr some of these not deep but smooth off some of these edges as well uh, in the combustion chamber um yeah so off we go more sanding this is a arduous job <laughs> so as you can see here i worked at this for hours i mean this head just this head probably three hours or something like that in total way more than this video clip shows um but ultimately it, it began to drift out of spec it was um the head was getting it was well it wasn't flat <laughs> So I, I made the decision there to have um, to give it up and have both of the heads skimmed, so nice and flat and in spec. So there we go. You can see uh, I think things in a sensible order. I think uh, regrinding the valves and putting the head, obviously you run the risk of um, damaging those faces, so you would want to resurface the heads as the last job you do. And then, of course, cleaning all the gunk off them. So you can see I'm working with some pretty dirty parts most of the way through the video. Uh, that said, they're off now being skimmed. 
uh, and they'll be cleaned there and I'm going to clean them again when they get back here ready for reassembly in another video. Thank you very much for watching this far, I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, tune in again for the next update.